Welcome to Date with Nanu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. Today I'm really happy to speak about a film that has taken over all cinema halls in Sri Lanka. I must say it has been amazing to see this film come alive. I'm here to speak about Gadi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dinara. Hi, I'm Adam. And, and we're, we're here, here to go, go on a date, date with, with Dano. Dano. Well, we're here to talk about our film Gadi, Children of the Sun. I play the role of Tikiri and I'm looking forward to speaking with Dano today. I'm here for the same reason. Uh, I play John Doyley, a slimy spy. Uh, and uh, yeah, looking forward to this chat. All right, so I have two very familiar faces on set today. Uh, I will start with uh, the one who spent the most amount of time getting his hair done. Uh, Adam Ali, uh, my, f my first uh, public theatre production was with him um, and uh, he's always described as you can forget your lines, you can not come on stage, the stage can catch fire, the whole production can die, Adam will keep it going. That is what Adam is known for. He's the most calm person you'll find on stage with you. And we have Dinara Punchieva. She is a budding actress. She has done a phenomenal job with Gadi. Um, and I'm so proud to talk to you about this. So let's start. I'm going to start with Adam. So when Adam walked in, as always, was very modest. Oh, no, 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 just a small role. I'm like a fly. He was the fly. <laughs> so let's start off with Adam. <laughs> How did it feel to have hair and blonde? <laughs> Actually, that was the uh, moment. In fact, when people ask me, what did you like uh, most about the, the, the role? I said the most significant fact that I enjoyed was taking the hair off my face when I was at the beach because I haven't done that like yeah. <laughs> in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has come and disturbed your view. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Uh, but you know, they have somehow kept your hairline back, no? Back. Yeah. They wanted to keep that tatte look going. Yes, I don't know whether it was by design or what. Uh, but they had made the wig in that way. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it uh, yeah. suited the character. But that character can only be played by a fair-skinned person. Yes, yeah. it is true. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> However British you are. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to be white. So you needed to be. And in our standards, Adam is white. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Dinara, you play such a beautiful role. Uh, I loved your innocence in it, although there are so many things in the character that is left to your imagination because I called you. Because I have a problem, I like to watch the things that people may not see. That's what I like to watch in a film. And it was remarkable. One of the scenes that I really enjoy is, I don't know how you did it, where you run from the house, where there's like, shush, shush, and you run all the way onto the swing. Beautiful. Those things are like epic. You know, if, if it leaves such an impression, that means it has made such an impact. Tell me, this was the moment that you waited for to see a film of yours coming to cinemas. Yeah. How was it the first day when you sat and watched it? Because that would have been some time ago. It was yes, not at the yes. preview. Um, I think it was very surreal and I remember it just, you know, the first time you watch it, you kind of, I don't know if it's the same with all actors, but you kind of watch yourself. You don't <laughs> watch the film. Yeah. So the second time I watched it, I watched it as a film. Right. So, you know, the first time I watched it, I was like, 
this is this is crazy. It's, mm. You know, it's very very surreal, and yeah, I mean, no words really to explain that feeling. It's so unfortunate, uh, Sri Lankan cinema, which had such a beautiful history, and which had history with amazing content, brilliant actors, and at that time, technology that really supported it crumbled and literally disappeared. Uh, Adam, you have done so much of theatre. What is the difference that you see between theatre that has succeeded and cinema that has died? Um, that's an interesting question. Thanks, uh, sometimes I ask. <laughs> <laughs> theatre that has succeeded in cinema that has died. Um, I think theatre that is, I think success in the arts is about a passion to put out a, a, a product that uh, that is uh, complete in the details, you know, um, and that means a lot of effort, a lot of thought behind it, uh, and certainly the theatre that has succeeded has uh, has had that kind of commitment, effort, thought in in all aspects of the production. Uh, in cinema that has died, I, I've uh, felt that uh, that effort has not been there, that passion has not been there, that, that attention to the minute details has not been and there. And a lot of people who have not had the best interest have been involved. So if the, uh, if the passion of the director uh, is driven by things other than the product, the work that you're involved in, then it's difficult to see a film that is truly great, truly inspirational. Um, you know, uh, if, if it is um, fame that's driving the production or if it is um, a box office hit that's driving the production, uh, then I think you lose the art in it. True. Definitely. All right, we have a very fun segment and it's called Hot Seat where we ask atrocious questions and you win prizes. And I don't know whether the two of them are going to be very honest, but let's try. All right, so we have, we have a few questions. Actually, these are quite innocent. And if you, whoever answers honestly, and I'm the judge of it, by the way, I am the judge will be chosen as the winner. And you walk away with Crystal Luxury Wellness, you know, this could help to have that moment again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This question is to you. Damayanti Fonseca, Ayurangani Sarasinghe. Out of the two amazing ladies who you acted alongside, who would you like to be recasted with and why? It's hard. Uh, I think maybe Ayurangani auntie because, um, I mean, she's, she's a legend. She's done so much acting from the time she was a child. And, oh my gosh, just having her on set was like having an angel on set, you know. I mean, I love Damianti auntie, but obviously you've asked me to choose, so I'm choosing Good. here. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm being honest. Your, um, Adam, to you, legally, because he's a lawyer, in your opinion, can we hold a former president, Maitri Pala Sirisena, accountable for Easter attacks? And can we get him to pay the 100 million? Yes, I think we can and we should. Uh, I think no one should be above the law. That's my personal view. Of course, the law is not. Uh, entirely accurate on that but uh, if people are accountable when they hold position they should be accountable for their positions and i think it's the people's right and the people's duty to ensure that that's uh, enforced i like how you said the bad news to him with such a smile he <laughs> might pay it now that's why he's a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> if not for you who would you cast to play the role tikiri maniki your options, Chulakshi, Yureni, Dinakshi, Pyumi Hansamani. Um, I'm just imagining Pyumi Hansamani running to the swing. Dinakshi. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Out of all the directors we have worked with, Adam, on stage, 
whose direction has really brought out the best in you? On stage, uh, I think I've uh, had the most creative experience with uh, Madam Somalata Subhasinghe. Um, she uh, inspired me in a very unusual way. Um, she used music to do it. Um, she gave uh, me an, an, you know, a very free hand and, and we talked about roles a lot more than with others. Um, I mean, many of the directors have been amazing to work with, but I would, if you're picking one, pick her. Yeah, all right. Uh, if the character requires you to do a nude scene, would you do it? The question is for the two of you. No. No. <laughs> if you can choose your next co-star, who would you pick? Your options are Jeevan Kumaratunga, Ranjan Ramanaika, Ashan Dias, Roshan Ranamana, Danui Nasitandi. <laughs> Oh, Danu. Oh. <laughs> Don't, do Don't do sympathy. How can I No. Oh. Ashan Dias. Not as much. You know, I was very correct with the two answers him. that you... Yeah, he's a brilliant actor. Yeah. Brilliant actor. Congratulations, I must say, uh, Adam Monit. Oh. <laughs> of course. You just yeah. want his hair to grow. No. It's not that. It's just that you want Ashan. No, stick with it. <laughs> All right. We're going to break. We'll see you Precisely. later. Precisely. <laughs> I like the way that worked out. <laughs> <laughs>
the locations of the film was absolutely gorgeous and nothing looked comfortable <laughs> uh, nothing <laughs> nothing looked comfortable it was definitely not made for somebody who likes the outs outdoors uh, indoors. <laughs> indoors tell me about that uh, yes I think Linara would be the best person to say how how difficult it was the shoot itself but uh, Prasanna if you gotta pee what do you gotta do in the forest. Ooh. Be in the forest, of course. Yes, there are some stories which I can uh, yeah, talk about. Hard, hard yeah, stories. <laughs> stories that you know females need certain you know yeah, yeah of course. Uh, situation, monthly issues, privacy, and all of that. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, monthly issues, privacy, all of that. So had to manage all of that. Uh, not too many females on the set, but still, um, I think uh, it was a tough, very tough, very tough shoot. Um, and uh, no hotels and no pampering. Uh, it was basically uh, under the trees and uh, under the stars and yeah. <laughs> whatever, right, Dinara? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dinara was telling me when we were watching the film the last time, she could almost feel the pain while watching yeah. the movie. Yeah, it was, it was really difficult and my goodness, hats off. A great induction for Dinara. Yeah. First film. Thrown right at the, the deep end. I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> Nothing was comfortable. Uh, Adam, when you read the script, uh, this because this has such a close bond to Sri Lanka, and this is about this whole caste system that is now hopefully going away. Because if, even if we refuse to say it, it's still there in certain areas of our country. Caste system is very much followed. Uh, when you read the script, and because you were the bad guy, uh, <laughs> How? Di what did you feel? See, even though the caste system may not be as relevant today as it was, uh, say, even 30 or 50 years ago, the, the theme of discrimination, the yes. theme of those divisions, those walls that we have in our society exists in everything else, isn't it? I mean, we see it, whether it is your education, whether it is the class that you are born into or coming from, whether it is you know, where you live, uh, we see these walls and we need to break all these structures down. And I think the message is symbolic in that sense. Mm. Um, and uh, Yeah, I think this movie can be viewed by anyone from any part of the world. That'll be something that they can relate to. Yeah. Consider the fact that, okay, I come from Jaffna and the caste system there was so obvious. Like, you know, it was, it was so divided that people who held bigger positions in an organization from a lower caste cannot enter his staff member's house through the main entrance. And these wow. were there when, well, I have seen it when I was a child. And I'm like, mm. so it's, it may not be as drastic how it was at that time, but it clearly is there still. Um, tackling this topic, how much of homework did you all have to do? I think a lot. Um, I mean, especially for me, there was a, a long period of rehearsals and then a long period of, you know, research and reading about things. And so I think um, one thing led to another and we had three months of shooting and that's how the film happened. But yes, definitely a lot of preparation. And it's funny that, not funny, but it's interesting that you said about the caste system because um, we went to Kandy a few weeks ago and I met someone from the Rodia cast who had come to watch the film mm. and he spoke to me and he said thank you so much for showing this film you know even today his girlfriend's parents don't like him because of the cast mm. but you know he's gone to university and he's I mean it doesn't matter yeah. anymore right so I'm glad that we're showing this film to think differently uh, we have a segment now that you are here and it's called yes or no be honest Welcome back to the show. So I have given them these boards and signs uh, that will give you the answer. You can explain if you want to, but yet I would like to know whether you're honest. All right. Do you struggle with your confidence? Show that side. I'm confused. Yes, okay. yes, and yes. Okay. Would you date someone who was best friends with your ex? Good on you, Adam. 
is it Not possible now, <laughs> <laughs> you won't be home today that's yeah. why i'll be the dog house yeah is it possible to sneeze with your eyes open yeah don't do it you will break the spine do you trust people easily yeah or have you ever kept a dirty habit from your partner <laughs> i want to know <laughs> what is it uh, well um digging my nose for instance oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all do it anyway yeah, 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 <laughs> okay uh are you extra over the top extra over the top are you like well you don't have a sometimes or a yeah. maybe right? <laughs> maybe sometimes yeah. really yeah. i of course think you can be me <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> <you say> so. <laughs> Is there anyone in your life that you just can't say no to? Uh -huh. Hmm. But uh, is anyone in your life you can't say no to? No means what does it mean? You have really thought about yeah. it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Most of the time. Has anyone ever accused you of being too Uh no. Okay. Have you ever not made it to the toilet on time? Mm, no. 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 Means peed in your pants. Yeah. Okay. Or anything in your pants. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must say, Dina, for your honesty, I'm going to give this to you. It was a fight between you and Adam for digging the nose part, but uh, I'm going to give this to you. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thank because you. I think, <laughs> I think because yes. there's like there's there's some honesty in there. All right, <laughs> we're going to get into a break, and we will see you right after. But uh, before we get into the break, I have something cool to tell you about. And I'm excited to talk about LG Vivace. give therapy for your second skin well as you know abans always introduces the latest technology when it comes to home appliances and i want to speak about this beauty that is seated right next to me because now as you know dinara she's an actress she has some amazing clothes i want to finish the shoot and just dump all of this away from me but i want to make sure that i give it to a good machine that understands my fabric they have three options for you they have washer they have washer and dryer and they have twin washer one more thing lg vivace comes with 100% dryer two in one wash to dry combination will save space at home and at the same time the capacity to dry is up to 7 kg how cool is that and also this washer with 100% dryer with different amazing settings gives you drying options that will provide optimized eco-friendly wash and dry performances in one washing machine I'll tell you why you need to get your hands on this immediately. Inverter direct drive technology guarantees a 39% energy efficiency every time you use this baby. And at the same time, let me tell you something really cool. You get a 10 year warranty on this and at the same time, I'm telling you, it's low on the noise so you can go to sleep and go about doing anything that you do because the noise and also the vibration is less making it more productive. Well, this is a perfect thing for you to have at home. Although this is a twin washer, what you get is a dryer as well. So everything is compact and you can enjoy amazing luxury when you put those very delicate clothes inside this. Welcome back to the show. So, going back to 2001 2002 is when I first met Adam. Uh we did a play called Animal Farm. He was the narrator and he was telling the story to his kids. One is already married now. Um Both are. Both are. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was a green a goat. Time. I was a green goat. <laughs> yeah. And you should be so happy that you had nothing to do with the cast behind you. <laughs> we were so smelly by the time we hit the 10th day 
we just we couldn't stand each other we couldn't stand our costumes because there were all types of body sprays running on leather rexine outfits and wool but it was an animal farm yes so. <laughs> it we actually smelled like animals. pigs <laughs> it was terrible i was a green goat i remember that but uh, that was the first time with adam but i've helped you backstage for a play where you get slapped um every day he used to get slapped <laughs> uh in that uh, in that play but you know uh the the characterization of the play was so good we were helping out backs if you like small like dust at the vent but yet um when i was helping out catriona has to give a note saying i would like to talk to you soon whatever every day for every run she wrote that although she could have just written whatever she wants but she always wrote that um uh, which shows that you know so much of character in in playing it and of course it didn't look pretty but uh, yeah <laughs> she tried <laughs> but uh, i my job my uh, by the way i acted in that play my i was the hand <laughs> that stepped out <laughs> yeah it was the uh, hand that came out to give the letter <laughs> just the hand <laughs> um today uh two years three years we had no theater so sad right it's just only now it's starting up but you took over acting to study yes 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 mm, it's a it's a very tough area to choose no for sure yeah because you can't like i don't think you can ever like like you know put it to use immediately <laughs> yeah yeah for sure it, it is it's not i mean it is quite rare to study acting and yeah. then do it but things have worked out and so far so far okay so you have a few projects that are still pending yes i do i have uh, three films and uh, another project coming up so yes okay uh are you into the whole you know let's dance around the tree just have like the whole like commercial like a commercial yeah. you know what i would love to do a commercial film yeah i would like to see you yeah. dance around with ranjit like as <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> but he is the superstar of our country like you'll be like in the baba bed No, I maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Uh, like you are screaming, "Mama no dinara." Mama no. Ah, yeah, flying in the yeah, wind, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All of that. You should try. Yeah, maybe next yeah. time. Let's see. Let's keep that as your last project. Yes, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Just the sign off <laughs> from the industry. Uh, Now, mother, I know I asked her <laughs> during the break. Why in the world did you take up this project to somehow make uh, Prasanna's dream come true? She said madness. Madness is what took you there. But do you like this amount of pressure that is on you for no reason? No. Yeah, right. Absolutely no. <laughs> <laughs> If uh, I can turn back the clock. You will. I will. Were you there at all these locations mm. suffering through daytime <laughs> and nighttime? <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> so tell me about uh, what how did you get roped into this? um it's a bit of a long story but i'll make it as short as possible right. um so we um have a we started a company called film island uh, where prasanna is also director and uh, so was uh, vimukti he's not there anymore and we want to really uh, market sri lanka as a film shooting destination and and you know showcase sri lanka just like how new zealand did with uh, lord of the rings um and uh, while we were waiting for somebody to come and knock on our doors Uh, one of our, um, another colleague of mine there iranti uh, said uh, why don't we do this prasanna's film, film because it has beautiful locations and it can really showcase sri mm. lanka so that's how that's how it started you know promoting sri lanka as a film destination has been in the pipeline for a long time during the uh uh the mind the regime they did sort of develop this whole film shooting city city <laughs> in um, film city in hammantota but that is just now hanging off a last thread but i have been there it's absolutely stunning uh why do you think that we still can't push it out as a location that people can actually come and use so i think sri lanka just does not have a vision for cinema tourism um we don't have a vision period uh, <laughs> but uh, cinema <laughs> cinema tourism <laughs> 
Why did I did yeah. I say something? No, no, that's correct. Okay. You just said it. We just thought it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, so there is so much we can do with cinema tourism, um, and unfortunately, and we are so um, compartmentalized. You know, film corporation is in one bucket yeah. and you know so many yeah. buckets Let's I don't think the buckets the really I'll come back with that in a <laughs> buckets bit. don't really meet and talk yeah. so yeah. yeah yeah let's get into a segment that we call on a scale Welcome back to the show. Now, on a scale, we used to play it differently. We used to ask you to be the one who is scaling you, but we realized that everyone was just, just giving themselves brownie points for no reason. So we decided to scale it the other way around. I shall answer for you, you shall answer for me, you shall answer for her, and she'll answer for you. Please write the number big. Question number one. How predictable are you? Gosh. So predictability or are we scaling unpredictability? Predictability. Okay. I'm scaling for you. <laughs> Here can't see your eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a now I don't know what that is. I know exactly what Adam will do in life, I think. He's a very oh calm man. And you know, we used to even live down the same road. Oh, really? Yeah, Arthur Saleh. Yes, yes, yeah. my gosh. Yes. I recall that. How weird do you think you are? There's a lot of work. No, for me, because I have to do so many things. <laughs> yeah. How weird. Hmm. That's close. <laughs> <laughs> How about y'all? Ten. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> you are just weird. <laughs> Next question. Well done. How likely are you to step outside without any makeup on? It's a very girl related question, but it's okay. What do you think <laughs> about makeup if you when I leave home? I think you would at least, you know, make sure that that moustache twirl is in the right Something place. Is there. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. And what are the scores of the You are in full makeup always. No, no. She's not. So then. Ah, right. Ah, okay. okay. So yeah. Yeah. You're correct. Okay. 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 I'm never. the one who got confused. Yeah. yeah. Never. Uh, never. Yeah. Very, <laughs> yeah, I've very seen you. That she, yeah. Seen your rugged look. <laughs> rugged. Uh... How much do you like to argue? <laughs> Actually, that's inaccurate. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I love to I argue. <laughs> but you just argue with that smile, no? Just put <laughs> well, <Thank you. laughs> I love it. I just realized that's you worse. earn out of that, no arguing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How good looking do you think you are? How good looking? Then I have hmm. to think of what you think. Yeah. How good looking do you think you are? You okay. Are. That's, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's like. It's a very tough one. Yeah, that's a bit hard. I know. Mm. I'm just going to be neutral here. Six. I'm okay with ten as well. Yeah. Just, let, just letting you know. <laughs> Nobody else is going to say it. Um, you know what? I'm just going to give... Comfortable in our skin. Huh? Should be comfortable in our skin. Correct. I'm just going to give this gift to all of you. Uh, so that all of you can eat and be merry about it. Okay. Thank you, Chariot. Let's get into Thank a break. You. Welcome back to the show. So we're speaking about the Sri Lankan film industry. Now I really want to know... What is the real gossip? Are the old ones happy to have the new ones? All right, so welcome. I'm going to uh, welcome back. I'm going to ask you, Madame, who is in the middle. Now tell me, uh, working with veteran actresses, 
on this set and actors on this set. There's no actresses, no actors, all actors on this set. Um, do you think the film corporation is ready to welcome all sorts of people into this industry and not let go of their position? I'm not sure how the film corporation has a say in that, no? Like the film industry, the ones who are there as a committee, are they welcoming to new people? But it all depends on the director uh, to choose his or her uh, choice of actor. I'm really not but sure. But what happens th after that? I don't you think can have a movie mm -hmm. and then you need television stations, you need the other uh, actors ah, and actresses things. to promote ah, okay. them. It's like you have to be sort of within that uh, community. community. You need to yeah. be accepted. Otherwise, they can always like, don't come for this show. No, if that person is dancing, I'm not dancing. All of that is there. Do you see it? Um, I don't know too much about it because I'm not uh, a part and parcel Heavily of the industry. But a couple of directors that I'm very close to, um, I don't think they really care. They pick the right uh, actor or act uh, the actor for the role and they go about their business and I love them for How it. How is it for you? I think for me, I mean, I'm still a newbie, but I've, I've I mean, I've been, it's been very welcoming for sure. Uh, this industry and you know all the senior actors, senior actresses, I think everyone has been so friendly. I, I don't know whether it's a facade or anything, I don't know, but at least to me everyone is so nice. Uh, the messages I've been getting are so overwhelming and so truly it's, it just humbles me to you know hear all of these things from such big actors and actresses. So I think it's, it's okay, so far it's okay for me. So the reality is being in this industry is very costly. Uh, one thing you have to dress well, look well, that's a character that you have built re about your name. People expect you to have that star factor. Star factor is a very expensive thing to play. So anyone who is expecting to be an artist full time might not even have enough funds to get into the bus if they believe only in art. Uh, do you think this could ever change? Like, you know, other countries, they you're an actor, you are the one who is rich, no? Our industry is way too small, Dano. Our industry is way too small and the revenue generated uh, through a film is just pittance. And I, I don't think the actors are paid, you know, uh, huge big sums of money. It's not practical. So we are a small country, small market and a small industry. So I think uh, what you asked, uh, I think they have to have a different livelihood and this should be their hobby, I think, if they are to exist um, and have a comfortable But do you life. think we have lost a lot of talent from this industry because they couldn't sustain, live through because of the fact that, you know, they can't find ways of surviving? I think they have, all of them have started their own other businesses. That's the only way to survive. So mm. I don't know whether we've lost talent, but they have, I think, been very resourceful and started their other businesses to exist. Adam, you said a very interesting point. Because you, you have acted in so many films, uh, but it's just that it's easy to get you because they know that you're not going to give a thumping bill saying that. <laughs> you're doing it because you love the art. Yeah. But if you were not doing what you were doing, do you think you can do that? No, it would be difficult. In fact, you know, on your earlier question, if one were to relate it to theatre here, we've seen so much talent not available for stage anymore because the pressures of the other livelihood are Takes just up. too great to commit that time to the theatre. And so while it is a passion, uh, you can only go that far with it. Um, even with cinema and me, the same thing happens. I mean. Uh, uh, for instance, Prasanna was talking to me about uh, another film he wants to make and the role would involve uh, close to a month of shooting and I had to turn it down on the basis that that's a commitment I can't take mm. because uh, while the love to play that role is great, the pressures of uh, you know real life, mm. if you want to call it that, are too heavy to give that kind of commitment. If it's a few days, yes. But, you know, hopefully with time, uh, that can change depending on how one's circumstances change and one's priorities change. So 
maybe a couple of years from now, I might be willing to say, yeah, I'm taking a month off and mm. I'm going to shoot a film. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's also a case of priorities in that sense. And uh, When you were shooting on this set, uh, you know, the, you all were willing to rough it out. You were willing to give that commitment to this film. But do you think if you were someone who came with, you know, I need my comfort, I need my caravan, I need all of these, in this country, even though you have the talent, you'll only lose the role. Because we don't have all of that to give. Yeah. Correct? No, for sure. Um, but I have to also be very thankful to Sajita, who's the co-actor. I mean, the two of us were together for like three months shooting. And I think we were just so happy to get this role and be a part of a big Prasan Vitanage film. So I think we were willing to rough it up. We were okay to do that. I mean, um, every day I would have thorns on my feet. I would... Um, I mean, there were so many things, right, we, we went through, I mean, like she said previously, um, on top of mountains. And the thing is, um, Prasanna, sir, he had this vision where, you know, the actors had to experience the pathway first. So we didn't have art guys coming and putting out, I mean, obviously, the path was watched, cleared a little bit, but we didn't have too many distractions. So even when we explored a passage in the forest, it was experiencing it for the first time. So all of and that... And you all were bare feet acting. Yeah. So, yeah, it... I mean, it's a good experience. I'm very grateful. Did you shave during those times? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, these are questions <laughs> I wanted to ask. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now that I have three married people, correct? Married and happily settled. Okay. We have a segment that's called Kinky. Mrs. Salgado is telling me, <laughs> I'm a grandmother. You didn't just get there, no? <laughs> it was just not a magical title that was given to you. You worked at it. <laughs> <laughs> and others did too. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. we're getting there, I yeah. think. <laughs> right, Adam, I don't know how you're going to withstand this question. I wish you all the very best. Okay. Oh Since you are all into some kind of acting or career, very expressive in your ways, act out your facial expressions when you're having good fun. <laughs> That's Adam's <Okay>. case. <laughs> uh, Adam is like, I oh. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> well, actually, um, the, the truth of the matter is I've never looked at myself in the mirror to be able to identify what the expression is. But I guess it would be something like... Uh, <laughs> That's a good expression. That's very, very good. Lucky you. <laughs> Just go to her and forget me, no? Dinara. <laughs> Your husband, I know, is very shy to speak out in public. Yeah. Yeah. With, with unknown people. When do we become known so that... No, no, no. I mean, not you, <laughs> but yeah, generally. Uh, okay. Uh, His quiet ones are the naughty ones. Yeah, so let him make... Yeah, he's... Yeah, let him make the naughty face. If he was here, who would have made the naughty face? I'll just... I'm just there, like... Oh, you're a starfish kind of a person. God. You don't, under, you don't understand the starfish statement, no? No. She's a grandma. <laughs> she knows, she knows. These grandmothers, I'm telling you the things they watch these days. <laughs> because they have just discovered internet. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> don't underestimate. <laughs> I told you, I told you the truth. Yeah. Don't underestimate. <laughs> mm, I don't want to search your search history. Anyway, Adam, this is for you. <laughs> I really <laughs> hope you... I really hope you... Expression changes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Expression continues. <laughs> ah, let's get into a break. We did some digging to see what's on their social media. I got a few. Right. I told you, you're a very active person, aren't you? Yes. Were you there every day? Virtually every day. 
you have got used to it now after Gadi. You have learned to how to rough out. No, I'm always a roughing out person. I'm not like one of those. <laughs> You're not a typical <laughs> grandma. No. Yeah. Tell me how was this? How was this for you? What what took you there always? Uh, I went there with my heart and soul because I truly believe that this country needs a complete change in system. So I just wanted to give it my best, physically and emotionally. Dinara, have you got creepy messages from your viewers? Mm, maybe a few. Like, like what? Suhandabala no ni. No, no, no. So far, nothing like that. My gosh. <laughs> but mm, no, nothing. Like maybe like a picture. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Huh? Mm. I try not to open links. Must have thought because you were just. What? Living free, no? So, <laughs> they'll also send it freely. <laughs> you don't age at all, no? This was taken at my school graduation. You would have been about 18, 19? Yeah, 17, Doesn't 18. Doesn't she look the same? 18. I hate pretty people. You annoy. <laughs> <laughs> A rare sight, I must say. I have never seen this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did yeah, you ever know, know that you know he has had hair? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> heaps of it. I got wow. more detention in school for unruly hair than really? for anything else. Yeah. <laughs> and then you lost, or you have chosen to lose it? Well, it started going away, and so you gave it the close playfully. Shave. Oh, that was special. Tell me about this. Where was this? At the Lionel went um, at one of. Feroz's opening nights of one of his plays. I think it was uh, Hamlet, the uh, uh, Hamlet's bar. Uh, mm. It's a very special photograph. Definitely. The favorite part of my film, in terms of expression, was this scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, I call, I think, uh, I Rangani Seda Singh, I had just one line there, Hey Mukundavin. That line, you felt every, like her, she was puzzled, she didn't know what was happening, why the urgency, everything. Only a woman in the 90s, if you are I Rangani Seda Singh, you're the only one who can do it. <laughs> Nobody else can. Absolutely yeah. remarkable. Awesome. One of the most stunning scenes mm -hmm. in this. That is my favorite reason, that's why I took this picture. How was it? This is like a, such a powerful moment in the film. Like your life changes here. Yeah. Very, very powerful. I mean, even, I, and look at the two of them on the side. Yeah. I mean, it's just three generations. Oh yeah, God. three generations. And also the fact that she has that command still on screen. She's like my all time, like, I think she's, she's on another level. <laughs> when did the wedding bells ring? 2020, COVID time. My God. So you didn't have to invite many people, no? No. That's it was fine. perfect. Cheap weddings happened at that time. I <laughs> just wanted to kick everyone off. Please tell me none of y'all grow hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the egg family. Yeah. Oh egg heads. <laughs> but actually, there was another picture of only the heads. Yes. It looked a bit strange. It looked like I was at a bowling station, a cheap one. <laughs> It's um, a lovely picture. Yeah. Tell me about, uh, is this the reason why you have also had this champion in this crew cut? I like it. No, I have always had uh, very short hair. My husband had like curly no hair. hair. <laughs> and then after being married to me, it sort he of, lost you know, it. Yeah, the grip of has course. been good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have the same face. Oh, that's my sister and brother. Sweet. Yeah, actually, oh my God. Yes, you, you just don't change yeah. at all. You have the same face. I don't see it. Yeah. Anyone can spot you. Yeah, even that one that where you're dancing in school. Yes. You look exactly like today. Oh, oh yeah. yes, this was Such taken on set. special. And uh, how time for her? No? Oh. Time is time. There's no two words And about. I must say, I mean, she, uh, Mrs. Sarah Singer being who she is, I, I've seen some prima donnas on, on set, but this lady is something else. Remarkable. Such a simple 
Oh, sweet. Oh, that's such a cute. <laughs> such a beautiful yeah. picture. Beware. You have. It's like your son and dating then. together. Have you also like? Huh? You stopped growing here as well. Yeah, uh, I just stopped and kept a, a hardly Goat. visible goatee. <laughs> you have one right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slight. You're just really for texture. Like <laughs> Inspect it. I'm so happy somebody else is doing your hair and makeup now. <laughs> So this is a funny story. We were in year eight, and it was an all girls party. And we were a little sad that there were no boys. So my father said to dress like boys and go for this party. So we dressed like boys and we went. I don't know, I don't think we looked like boys. I don't think you look like a boy. <laughs> so we dressed like boys and we went. And we said, yeah. Like, you look confused, like a bunch yeah, of the two boys. We dressed like a bunch of Thomians. <laughs> And he said, like, give me a tea, give me That's a fine, then you've got the character right. <laughs> <laughs> I meant confused. <laughs> Your husband is Tomian? No, no, no. He's not, he's not. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's okay. Important question, did you get lucky? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, she was in grade 8. Grade 8? Yeah, I don't oh, think they... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, they were going for St. Thomas's party. It was a girl's party. <laughs> Oh dear. So this oh. is last week. Actually. Oh really? Fresh off the uh, Yeah, oven. we have a we have a community kitchen. So mm. this is one of the kids uh, who came for that. So you are a true typical grandma of Sri Lanka. So involved. <laughs> and so much of giving back, which is amazing. Right, I need to say thank you so very much for being on the show. I know this might have been a bit scandalous uh, in certain ways, but Adam, I must say, well done. Thank you. Well I done. I enjoyed it. I know. You, you, have, you do everything with that face and nobody will ever, ever doubt you. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll just... <laughs> well, yeah. Let's hope the audience has a question mark on some of my answers. <laughs> <laughs> and wonders though that couldn't have been true. They might be calling your wife. <laughs> just to double check on that. Uh, thank you so very much, Dinar. I wish you all the very best for a brilliant future ahead in, thank you for uh, in, in cinema. And... Uh, Thank you so very much for doing these projects. And I know the next film that you've already booked me. <sighs> yeah, keep it free. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, you for Adam, asking, yeah. thank you so very much for being here. Thanks. Thank On you. that note, we need to wrap things up. Uh, if you have not watched Gadi, please do make an effort to go watch it. It's a brilliant film. It's a film that really promotes Sri Lanka and the diversity and the beautiful locations that have just there. So uh, let's go see it. Thank you for joining us on the show. Take care. It's all right.